How do you feel when you learn something new that's also very useful? I will show you the hints that two of the world's best Sudoku creators put into this puzzle to help you find the right solution path. Plus, Sudoku strategy is so powerful, it can solve very hard puzzles. Click below if you want to give this puzzle a go. And with that, it's solving time. Look here in block six. You have a one in row six, and you have ones in column seven and nine. The only place you can put a one is right here. And then with these two ones, you notice the only place a one will fit in block four is right there. Greetings, friend. Each Friday in May, I've been bringing you a featured selection from the Sudoku Cult Gospel. Sam Kappelman Lines, Jovial, Philip Newman, and Shy, for the world's top setters, created the Sudoku Cult Gospel to teach you new and wonderful Sudoku strategies. Thank you, Shy and Jovial, for putting together this puzzle specifically to teach you a Sudoku strategy involving couples. Okay, what you want to do, and a bonus tip I'm going to give you right now, is look for uh, what you call telegraphing. And that's when a setter puts something into the puzzle to get your eyes on that. You probably notice when you first start out, there's a lot of filled out givens along outer rows and columns. So let's fill that out and see what that means to us. That's got to be a four, seven, eight. This has got to be a two, four, five. And I can remove the four from the eight from right there. And we can remove a five from here and the two from right here. This has to be a six, seven, nine. Make it triple. Remove the six from right there and the nine from right there. And then this has to be a two, three, six. You can remove the two from right here and we can remove the six from right there. So you see a lot of by value cells, BVCs. I think that's a hint of what we need to look for and complement our main strategy. And before you find out what they meant by Sudoku couples, you first need to find as much restriction as possible by using Snyder notation. Look here in block one. Because of this one, one of two places you can put a one in the block. And since the ones are restricted, these two spots, I marked them using Snyder notation. So anytime a three by three block, you have two possibilities, mark it. In case we solve one cell, we can solve the other right way. And it gives us an idea of where the restrictions are in this puzzle. You look here in block eight, and with these two ones, we put Snyder ones right there. Now with the twos, we can look here in block five, and notice the twos in these two columns, Snyder twos right there. And then in block seven with this two, Snyder twos. Then there's no Snyder marks with the threes, but with the fours, if you go here, here, you'll notice two places for the fours. And even though they're not lined up in a row or column, we're still going to mark that it still has value for you. And then the fives, with this five, one place for five is right there. You notice that this five covers that cell. And with the sixes, we can do a little bit more marking because of this six cutting across. Two sixes right here, because you can't put a six there. And then in block four, with this six cutting across and this six coming down, Snyder six is right here. And in block nine, with this six and this six, Snyder nines. At the sevens, this seven going all the way across row six, only two places for seven in block four. This is a pointing pair, a little bit different because there's a little bit more power to this Snyder marking. Since the sevens are restricted in block four, the same row, row four, then a seven can't be anywhere else in that row outside the block. You cannot put a seven here or here anymore because if you did, you have no place to put a seven in block four. And with the eights, eight right here creates a pointing pair of eights. And so now the eights cannot be in these two spots. So you know the eights are limited to these two cells right here. Another way to look at it is you could have looked across the row and said, oh, the eights have to be somewhere in row one. They're restricted to block three. You could eliminate them in every other cell here. That would be looking at it as a claiming pair versus the pointing pair from block one. Either way works. And then with these two eights, 
nine or eights in block five, and then in block nine with this eight, only two spots for an eight here, and that eight, no eight can be right there. With the nines, you look in block three with these two nines, nine or nines right here, and with block seven with these nines, have Snyder nines right here, and then in block eight, these two nines, we have Snyder nines right there. And this is as far as you can get with Snyder notation and basic techniques. At this point, you can either start searching for single candidate strategies. For example, you may have noticed you have a skyscraper right here. These two share row two, and then they're in different rows in this three block band. And you'll be able to make some elimination with the twos right there. However, it doesn't get you very far, so I'm not going to delve further into that. Instead, I think the intended solve path is to look at what they did here. It's really beautiful, what Jovial and Shy did here. Remember, the name of the puzzle is Couples Therapy, which I think hints more to using bi-value cells, the BVCs. And before I show you the first advanced strategy, which is quite beautiful, I want you to remember the name of this puzzle. Couples therapy, which hints that you need a partner to this strategy, a partner strategy to complete the puzzle. If you like solving multiple strategies and puzzles, consider joining the Smarty Party, like my newest member, Elias Perez. You can receive my latest puzzle pack featuring X, Y wings, just like he did. Smarty Party members say my puzzle packs are the absolute best, and they look forward to a new pack each month. Best of all, you solve the pack, I'll give you a shout out in a future video. Just like Yoshi Baroshi, Aaron Wells, and Carol Emmerich all solved my May pack. Click on the pinned comment to take the next step in your Sudoku journey. What you need to do next is fill out block one here. You notice we have a five, six, seven, nine. We need one, two, three, four, and an eight. And so the eights can't be here. The ones can't be here. And then we also, you want to look across row three. You have a six, seven, eight. Doesn't seem like much until you start filling it in. One, two, three, four, five, nine. You might notice you have a two, three, nine, all in block two, plus a five in that column, and a four in this column. And then we have a one here in block three three with a two in column eight. And we just create some more by value cells. You might notice here is we have two different BVCs, this one four and this two three. Notice right here that these two cells, which see both the two three and the one four, contain the four digits in these two by value cells. So you have a one, two, three, four right here. And then you have one of those pairs, a two, three in the block, and you have one of the pairs in the same row outside the block, a one, four. So what can be in these two cells? If you made it both a one, a four here, then you'd have nothing to put in that cell, right? So we know it can't be a one, a four. But if you put a two and a three right here, you know you'd have nothing to put in that cell, right? Because you have the two and three within the block. So what we know is one of the one and the four has to be in this in these cells, and one of the two three has to be in this cell. It cannot be any other way. And what we have found is called a Sudoku su de coke. And what it means is that we can start making some eliminations within this block and across this row based on a knowledge that one of these cells contains a one or a four and the other contains a two or a three. And so what we can do is since you know one of the two and threes is here and one of the twos and threes is right there, you can eliminate a two and three from both these cells. Because if you put a two here, you have a three there and you'd run out of digits to put in the orange. Same thing across the row, since one of the one and fours is right here and the other is right there, you can eliminate the ones and the fours all the way across that row. And you'll see that we're going to be able to make a solve right here. And I'm going to fill out this five. Realize 
you are not done. I'm just showing you one pseudocoque. We're going to get a little bit of solving here, but this puzzle referred to a couple. And so now we're going to see what else we can do here and what the next strategy that you need to do to get more progress in this puzzle. And so we took out the five from these cells. You have a five right there. And you might notice with this five and this five, we can solve for a five here in block five. And so we're going to remove our colors. We made all the eliminations we can make up here with this pseudocoque. And we're going to see what else can we do. Well, we need another advanced strategy here. And so notice there's a lot of symmetry in this puzzle. Five, six, seven, nine up here. And we figured and found a pseudocoque in block one, cross row three. Well, let's look down here in block nine and across row seven. You have a one, two, three, nine in this block. We need a four, five, six, seven, eight. And because of these eights, you can remove the eights from right there. And because of the six, you can remove the sixes from right there. And do we have anything else bleeding into the puzzle? Nope. Let's look across row seven now. You have a one, eight, nine. So we need a two, three, four, five, six, seven. You might notice you have a two, four, five all in block eight. So we can get rid of the two, four, and five. And you have a three right there. So now we create a BVC. You have a three, six, seven here. And you go over into block seven. And we can remove the six from right there. And you can remove the five from right there. So let's look here. We got a four, five, six, seven that can be in this, these two cells. Well, one of those pairs, the four or five, is right there in the block. The other pair, six, seven, is out here outside the block in the row. This is a Sue de Coke, just like we found before. The partner to the one we did beforehand. Like I showed you before, one of the six and sevens has to be here. The other's got to be in this block. If you don't put a six or seven here, you, you fill it with four or five, you'd have nothing to put in that cell. And so one of the four fives has to be here. The other's got to be within these orange cells. And you might be wondering, uh, does this the same thing as a WXYZ wing? Not really, uh, because a WXYZ wing, you'd have a shared candidate in one of these cells, and that helps you make an elimination where these two uh, cells see uh, the same cells. So since they're two different pairs, you know, four or five different candidates here than here, this is a pseudococ. And what we can do is now eliminate all the fours and fives within the block outside those two cells and eliminate all the sixes and sevens outside the block, outside the, the row here in row seven. And here's a bonus tip. Uh, these were four cell pseudococcus, which you see, which is the most common. But besides four cell, there's actually a five cell pseudococcus. Plus another variation that you probably have not seen. You can actually learn more all about these in this tutorial. And now you have to take this information and we're going to follow the restrictions to see how much further you can get into this puzzle. Well, let's remove our colors from right here. And now you probably notice we can solve this cell now for a three. And we can remove the threes from these two cells. And where can we go from here? Well, Next biggest restriction is across row five. You have a one, four, five, six, eight, and nine. You need a two, three, or seven. Well, I have a two and a three right here. This has to be a seven, which gives you a two, three naked pair. Now we just added another cell here in column five. So you have a two, three, four, five, seven. We need a one, six, eight, nine to complete column five. Well, you have the one and the six right here. So these two cells have to be in eight, nine. Only place, only two things that could be in those two cells. We have an eight, nine naked pair right here, which means these are now gonna be a one, six naked pair. And since the nine can't be in this cell anymore, you can remove that nine, displace the Snyder, and solve this cell now for a nine. And what it does is puts more restriction in block five here. 
You have this eight, nine here. You have the one, five, six, seven already in the block. You know you only have a two, three, four remaining. Well, since I have a three here and a two here, this cell has to be your four, and this is going to be your two, three naked pair. Some viewers appreciate tips like this so much they buy me coffees like Hans and Sean G did, or they just give me a super thanks here in YouTube like Asho and Kenneth Yu. So now we can start making more solves in this puzzle. Because of these two nines, this cannot be a nine anymore. That has to be a seven. That's going to be your six. Displacing that Snyder nine, displacing the Snyder five. And with this six, we can solve this cell for a three. And with this two, we can solve this cell for a two and solve this cell for a four. Move up column one. You notice this has to be a two now, and this can't be a two or three. It's got to be a six. And then with this two, we can eliminate two from right there. And with this four, you know this cell now has to be a five. It means this is going to be your four, and that's going to be your two. And then we can eliminate four from right here. Gives you a seven, eight naked pair. Only place a four can go in row one is right there. So as long as you keep making solves, we'll just keep following the Snyder and disambiguating the cells we filled out. So you got a four right here. Means this has to be a one. This place in the Snyder one, you can solve this cell for a one. Solve this cell for a six. The only thing left in block two now has to be a seven. Allowing you to solve this cell for a six here and a seven in block eight. Now you can remove six from right there solve this cell for a six and then with the five we can remove the fives and we have four seven right here and an eight right there with this eight you can disambiguate the seven and eight right up here in block three and then we can do some more solving with this four you know this has to be your eight this is going to make this a one and now with the two, one and the two, we can remove the two from right here. You can do a little bit better because you have this four right here. The only place a four can go in block one is right there, allowing this to be our three. It means we can solve this cell for a nine, solve this cell for a two, allowing you to disambiguate the three, two here in row five. And we can solve this for a three here in block five. With this seven, use that Snyder mark to displace your Snyder, and solve this cell for an eight. Excuse me, solve that cell for a seven, because that's what that is. And then what you have here is an eight. I got a little ahead of myself. Disambiguate the nine, eight naked pair. We can remove those colors now. And where else can we do more solving? Well, this nine cutting across here means the only place for a nine in block six is right here. And then with this seven, we can disambiguate the four, seven in block nine. I don't see a four in block six. So with this four, you can solve for a four right here only thing left in block six is a five i don't see a five up there in block three so that's got to be your five that's got to be your three i like to look at the last thing i solved and see if it goes into the next block so we have two candidates remaining can't be a one four five six seven eight nine it's got to either be a two or a three so i'm gonna go over here and say oh there's my three i'm gonna pull on over that's got to be your three and our last digit is a two See if you can spot the pseudocoke in this next video. Thank you so much for watching.